This is my southern fried quail with a peach salsa. You're going to need quail, then we're going to brine it in buttermilk, mixed herbs and seasoning. And for our crispy southern fried coating, self-raising flour, oregano, cayenne pepper, mixed spice, paprika, salt and pepper. And then for our peach salsa, the peach, red onion, lime, extra virgin olive oil, cider vinegar, basil, parsley and mint. So let's start with our peach salsa. Take a peach, I'm going to peel the skin off because I want the salsa to be really sweet and the skin can be a little bit bitter. Cut the peach to the stone. And twist and then take out the stone. And cut into small dices. So that's the peaches ready. Now for the red onion. I'm going to dice these to roughly the same size as the peaches. Now for the lime. Lime works really well with peach. So I'm going to be using the zest and the juice. And I want the salsa to have a vinaigrette for it. So some cider vinegar and some extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to add some chopped herbs. I'm going to start with mint, then some basil, and slice through, nice and thin. And last of all, a bit of parsley. A touch of salt and pepper. Quick taste. It's sweet. The limes give it a real zestiness. So just going to cover with cling film and place into the fridge until needed. Now for our quail, but first we're going to make the brine. So in a tray, I'm going to add some buttermilk. And what we're going to do is tenderise the quail. And the buttermilk's perfect for it. The calcium in the buttermilk breaks down certain proteins in the quail, tenderising it. I want to add lots of mixed herbs and salt and pepper. Now these lovely quails, I want to serve in halves. So I really want to retain the whole shape of it. So I'm going to take the backbone out just by giving it a trim and then feeling along there and then cutting through. Now I just want to cut through the middle. That's going to be perfect for frying. So the quail is going to take around eight hours to brine, but you can even leave it overnight. So cover with cling film and pop it in the fridge. The sauce is made, the quail is tenderising, so I'm now going to show you how to make my not-so-secret southern crispy fried coating. And I'm using self-raising flour just to give the coating a nice puffiness. Oregano, which I've seen used a lot in the south. Some allspice, some cayenne pepper, paprika, some salt and pepper. Now I'm just get a whisk just to mix it all together. And that's it. That is my blend of herbs and spices. I'm now going to get the brined quail. So the quail has been in the buttermilk, tenderising for about eight hours. I'm going to double dip it in the flour. But before I do that, I'm going to show you a tip just by taking some of the buttermilk and pouring into the flour. What this is going to do is just create a few lumps. So when we fry it, and you'll find these clumps, and that's going to add texture. and really push the flour onto it. I want the flour to really stick. So I'm now going to fry them. So just pick up and away from you, lay into the fryer. So anywhere between six and seven minutes, the quail is going to be ready. These should be rested for about 10 minutes. Right, I'm going to get the salsa and start plating up. Right, first of all, let's get in here. The quail is really tender and the crispy skin of just those subtle spices are just so good. A succulent spicy treat, my southern fried quail. So lemons and limes are going to pickle the fish. This is going to take anything between an hour and a half to two hours. I'm just going to cover it with cling film, pop it in the fridge and let it pickle. The magic's starting to happen. I'm just going to have a quick clear down and then start on the slaw. Next some spring onions. And I've got some of these lovely pickled walnuts going to get a real sharp vinegary flavour which really helps add acidity to the salad. 